Hey guys, it's your inner chakra. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, welcome, welcome back. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. As always, guys, this is for the collective, so you have to place yourselves around here, right? It may or may not be your reading. You know yourselves better than I do, right? Like, you know exactly what's going on. So if this is your reading, take from it. If not, you can definitely learn some lessons off my channel. I always have something to say. It would never be something I would never not do myself, guys. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angels. <clears throat> Let's get it. This is a trick-or-treat deck. It's Halloween, guys. You might as well get it because you can use it real year-round. Because, you know, we get, we get tricks and treats year-round. So there's a witch around you, a mean person. This person is rude, nasty, and quite selfish, right? So this witch here, it's all about them. You know, there's nice witches and bad witches. Well, this witch is, this is a selfish witch. She's a witchy witch. <laughs> She's a witchy poo. <laughs> holy Spirit, Holy Angel, I should go back in there and make that to witchy poo. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so this person is married. There's your trick. So, because this witch is so many things, the one trick that I pulled out of this witch here is that they're selfish. And the reason why that I say that this witch is selfish is because you're being tricked. Man or woman, the person that you're dealing with is married. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Trick or treat for that ass, right? Crystal ball. Your crystal ball is confirming that, yes, whoever you're dealing with right now is a selfish SOB man or woman especially if you don't know if they're married or not right spirit says stop right there don't pull another card actually yep it said go to the tarot reader that be ma so spirit said stop here spirit said pull the cards spirit you ain't said spirit you ain't said nothing but a thing <laughs> hold up <laughs> let me go get my deck let me get my deck. What I have to dig down is a certain deck that I use, and I'll show you. I think y'all all know it by now, but it just gets me down to the nitty-gritty of things. And this one. This is the Rider weight. It digs down. It, it rips shit up. So, guys, you're dealing with a married person that I don't think you know that they're married because your crystal ball confirmed it. And then it says, go to the tarot reader. So it told me to stop pulling those cards right there. And to come here. And I am obedient, spirit. I shall. I shall. Let's ground while I shuffle. Because I got a feeling, guys. This is going to be something else. So you're dealing with a married man, are you not? You're dealing with a married man. Let's see. You just never know. It's a Pandora's box right here. You just never know where we might go. <laughs> All right, so who is this married man? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Stay connected, guys. Let's get it. The crystal ball confirmed it. Who's this married man person? Who's this selfish person? <laughs> somebody who cannot give you their everything. It's somebody who's not giving you their all. Because they can't give you their all because they're married. It's the sun in reverse. They can't give you half the shit that you want because they're married. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. <laughs> yep. And you didn't know this because the strength card came out. So right now, some of y'all are being floored. You're just, you just hit it. Like, you just got floored. Because you're going to find out that your person's married. So it's going to take strength. It is. But you're going to be all right. Spirit said yes. They confirmed it with the crystal ball. Close for the angels. Yep. Spirit wants you to wake up. This is the hermit in reverse. Spirit said yes. This person is awake. So there's the tarot reader. Spirit said go to the tarot reader. And so we shall. <laughs> Oh, it's very holy names. Go through the tell reader, spirit. Tell reader, tell reader. What do you have to say? Well, the collective about this married man. Yep. 
Kill Reader said, cut this person out. Ace of Swords. They say you know now. They say you know this. You are in your right mind. You know this. They said snatch that crown that you gave to this fool. They said snatch that shit back. And you are. You're going to take your crown just like this. You're going to, that, your sword, you're going to flip it off their head. Look at you. Look. Snatch that crown. Whatever you gave to this person, snatch that shit. This person's married. Spirit said, wake up. Crystal Ball said, yes. This person's selfish. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Today must be my day, and I'm going to tell y'all why in a minute. <laughs> yeah, this is the King of Swords. Or you are the King of Swords, and you're paying attention, right? You're in your King of Swords. You know better. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. This is a married man. You fight with this person all the time, too, guys. Whoever this person is, they, you fight with them all the time. It's probably drama all the time. And now you know why. They probably fight to you so they can get back to their family, right? They start fights with you so they don't have to talk to you as much, right? What else, Spirit? What else is going on here with this married man? The married man and his mess. <laughs> wow, this is somebody from your past. Somebody from your past is somebody that you've been knowing for some years, right? Somebody from your past. You thought that this person was a gift. That's what the tell reader said. Tell reader said you thought this person was a gift. You thought this person was the shit, right? Hierophant in reverse. What is this? What is the hierophant in reverse? Did you end something to be with this person? There's a lot of injustice. Okay, so you ended it. You ended the connection with this person because it was just a lot of injustice. Like you knew they wasn't giving you what you deserve, your time, your attention, everything. You couldn't quite put your finger on it, but I just put my finger on it. Your person's married, right? So the tarot reader said, you're gonna walk away if you haven't already, because this is just injustice. Someone from your past could be coming back too, which could be your gift, right, as well. Yeah, this person here, the one that's married, they're still dealing with the karma. There's the Queen of Wands in reverse there. They're still dealing with that person. That person is still in their energy. So that's why they're still holding back from you. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Yep, they can't give you anything. This person will continue to deliver injustice to you guys. So if you're messing with somebody and you don't know, now you know. He's married. Spirit wants you to go pray, guys. Think about it. Walk away. Spirit, what is my collective going to do with this mess? What are they going to do? What is the collective going to do with this married person, Spirit? Spirit said you're going to move the hell on. God, I love my collective. See, my collective fall. I keep telling y'all. Started from the bottom, now we're here. I built my collective up. Before you know it, y'all gonna be kind of raw like me. Kind of raw like me. Y'all gonna have to gift a goodbye. You're like, what? The, what? <laughs> what? Nah. <laughs> yeah, Spirit said you're gonna walk away from this. You're gonna walk away from this. You're gonna walk away from this. What is this, Spirit? Yes. <laughs> I told you. Spirit said, go pray. So I said, Spirit, what are they going to do? Spirit said, you're going to get in that car. You're going to put on your skates, your shoes, your sneakers, whatever it is you want to put on that make you go that away. You're going to do it. <laughs> Good for you. Walk away from the married man. Walk away from the married woman. You can do better. And if you didn't know that they were married, I apologize. And I'm sorry. Because Spirit says it's going to take strength to get you through this. But you will get through this. And look at this. How do I know you're going to get through this? Because you ain't got no regrets. When you do walk away, you're not going to have one regret. You'll probably never talk to this person again. And if you do, it'll probably be something like a, yeah. Uh, fuck you, right? <laughs> fuck you and your spouse. <laughs> okay? If you find out that this person's married, that's the trick. Fuck you and your spouse, husband or wife. You're going to learn something on this channel. 
we're not that nice over here. What it is over here is it's fact and it's truth. And I don't like when people get played. I don't like when people get cheated on. I don't like when people get lied to. So if those energies come out, so be it. I'm not going to be all lovely, lovely talking about, oh, I'm so bad. I'm, I feel so bad. I'm cheating on you and I still love my wife. And please forgive me. I'm torn between you and my wife. No, you're not. Make a decision. Because if this person decided to let you keep dipping it and your wife don't know that you out dipping it, now you got two. That ain't right. So if I need to splat out, pat, splat, splat out, splat, put it in your face, I will. I will. Because a lot of people be holding on to bullshit. So if you find out that your person is married, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Walk away. No regrets. Be done. It's a wrap. Curtain call. Whatever. Snip it. Cut it. Rub it down. Oh, no. I don't know. It's done. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. And you probably think it's your twin flame because it's like 1108. So it's like 1-1. One, one. Boo. You whore. <laughs>